Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got five Valentine's Day Manny ideas. This first one, I'm starting off with Shut Out on a Pop Stick. And I'll be using Pipe Green Polish on the list. The green is High Roller. The yellow is Light of Day and 110 Degrees. And this blue is All In. Now, these polishes are no longer available. I am so sorry. There was These were like many, many years ago. Um, it was a craziness. Um, they're not making these polishes anymore. The pigments became impossible to find. And so I apologize for that. But if you have any neons that water marble, you could still do this, um, you know, look. <laughs> I had to break them out because, you know, I own them. I need to use them, I, whether they're available or not. I, you know, I just got to. And I was kind of going with what I know so that I could get out five ideas before Valentine's Day hits. I don't know how many chances I'm going to have to actually do Valentine's manis on my own nails. So I wanted to do this for you all and give y'all some ideas, you know, a little non-traditional Valentine's Day stuff because you know that's how I work sometimes. So I'm going to dip it down in and clean it up just like I do when I do it on my nails. I am just using regular old tap water that's been sitting in my room at room temperature. So cleaning up all that excess. And that is the first part of this one. Some little swishy, swirly swoops. So there we go. I'll be using this Ellen Dish Bundle Monster Plate, Braves Diva on the Black Stamping Polish, and my Beauty Big Bang Scraper, and my AliExpress Stamper. But I end up having to change to my Monocle Stamper. It would not pick it up. And I don't blame the plate, just sometimes you have to play with them. So there we go on the Monocle Stamper. And these are not going to be perfect. I'm just going to go ahead and let you know that, you know, these are, um, you can still see a little bit of open space in that one. So there's that one. This is Black Dahlia by Obsessive Compulsive and Sister Chic Paris Nights and Sister Chic's Moulin Rouge. I'm going to do a gradient over this white pop stick that I've used shut out for also. I'm going to start with the red and then do like the, the ox blood reddish color the brownie red, and then black. And this one's not really a Valentine's Day, you know, it's maybe anti-Valentine's Day. I don't know. I, I don't know what kind of manicure you might want to do, so I threw this one in there. This gradient is one of my favorites with the red and then the kind of brownish red and then black on the end. I've always loved this look, and there's so many things you could do on it. So I'll be using the Lena um, plate today. I'm going to list, try to list everything down below. And I'll be using that Nicole Diary Gold. And I'm just going to use these open hearts. And you could do these as accent nails or you could go crazy and do all the nails. So there's the picture of the second manicure. Next we're going to start with silver and this is China Glazes. Cheers to you. You could use any silver. I'll be using that Lena plate again and the Nicole Diary Black. And I'm using this one that's got different sized hearts on it because I want to do something. I'm trying to do different things. So that if you're into water marbling, you could go that way. If you're into gradients, you know, or if you're into reverse stamping. And this one is actually not going to be reverse stamping. I'm going to be using the Magenta, Magenta Muse and the, um, which is this one, Purple Perspective, the OPI color paints. They're kind of jellies. Or color tints and I'm gonna just fill in the hearts back to what I was saying if I can remember what I was saying um, you know I wanted to do different things but this one here they call this lead lighting um, at least that's how I pronounce it lead lighting lead lighting I'm thinking lead lighting so I'm filling the bigger hearts in with purple and you could use any kind of jellies for this or color tints homemade jellies whatever you have um, and just fill in the design. I'm loving it so far. Now we're going to do the little hearts with the pink one. You know, the pink one. So there we go. And you don't have to be perfect with it. I get all the lines a little bit. You'll see it in the swatch photo. Look how pretty. So there we go. We've got that third one done. Now on to the next one. We're starting off with a shutout again on a pop stick. 
These are all mixed up lacquers, and this one's a little bit of blue. <laughs> and Ermagard Yellard. And this one, oh, pink. And then the green is Camera Freak Out. And the orange is Orangelicious, baby. And I'm going to do some sponging, but I'm not doing like a gradient. I'm just doing like a just sponging. It's almost like marbling, but using a sponge instead of like a stamper. And I'm just putting the blue in the center, and then I'm putting the other colors kind of around it. And I am going to do a little side-to-side -side daubing on here. And I'm oh, sorry I'm off frame. You can see I'm daub, daub, daubing. I'm going a little side-to-side -to, -side to blend the colors a little bit. And this is the third round. The second round did not show up on camera very well, so this is the third round of this. And then I'm going to go up and go ahead and do some stamping on it. I'm using that Lena plate again. This is like the All About Love or something like that plate. Like I said, I'm going to try to remember to list everything down below. And there we go. We got some pretty little hearts with arrows. So there's the fourth one. Now on to the fifth one. Again, Brave Divas, shut out on my pop stick. Essence, and this one is Fairy Tale Gone Pink. And this one is called Curl Me Crazy. And this final one, this light pink, is Sweet as Candy. I'm going to do another gradient with these. Just loading up my, br I mean my sponge, not my brush. And I'm just doing a regular straight up gradient with these. Get my pop stick. I'm kind of rolling and dabbing, dab, 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 tap, tap, tap. And depending on how opaque you want this to be, you can do, you know, one coat, two coats, whatever. And if you don't have these exact polishes, just find something in your collection that's similar. So I am doing three rounds on this pop stick. I'll be using this Bundle Monster plate. It's the water marble plate. This image is on many water marble plates, though. So it, whichever plate you have, you can totally, you know, do the same thing. Same thing. And there we go. Picked up really well. I'll be using Poetry Cowgirl, coat of many colors, to fill in some of this design. Now this is true reverse stamping. You know, when you fill in a design with, you know, something like this on your stamper. I just wanted to use some of that bling, you know. And this one's that heart marble, uh, water marble image. And I just love it. I think it's so cute. Now, this one doesn't end up looking that great on the pop stick. I'm just going to go ahead and fess it up. But I wanted you to get the idea of what I'm seeing. And if you don't have this particular polish, you can use any Glittertastic Bomb Fest, um, you know, to fill in your design. What you have on hand. I don't want you guys to ever feel like you have to run out and get exactly the same thing I have. I know in your collection, you've probably got something that would work. Might even work better. So I had to add some more to my mat, some more of the polish, and I am flipping it over, checking it out, and filling in some more. You guys know I couldn't resist this. Are you kidding? Blingtastic. Add in a little bit more down at the bottom. Now I'm going to use the sticky base coat because this pop stick has totally dried and the decal has dried. I want to make sure that it transfer and not all of it does. Some of it doesn't make it, but you can see where I was going with that one. How pretty. So I would love to hear which one was your favorite. Give, give me a comment down below and let me know. So we've got the water marble with the stamping. The dark gradient with some stamping, some lead lighting, some sponging gradient kind of thing, and then some of this other stuff. <laughs> I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself.